we're looking at is where you've forgotten your password and you need to reset it. So the first uh, thing we have to do, uh, it's either on the IP camera, which you've forgotten your password, or the DVR or NVR. With the DVR and NVR, it's very simple. You just connect it to the power that's done and you use the router to do so. Whereas with the IP camera, it's a bit more complex. So the IP camera has to be connected to the power using an PoE switch. If you don't have this and you only have a normal router, what you're going to do is connect the camera to the power using the 12, um, the 12 volt camera supply. So once you've done that, we're going to go onto this app called SADP tool. This app you can get basically just on Google itself. So just go on Google, search SAPD tool. And it's important that when you do so, you download the latest vi um, version from Hikvision. So once that will be the one that comes up at the top of the page here. So that one there. It, just compare it to the numbers, you'll realize which one's the most recent. <clears throat> then what we're going to do, we're going to go onto the SADP tool app and your device will come up there on the screen. Well, what you're going to do, you're going to select the device, sorry, select the device and go onto here where it says forgot password. It's at the bottom in blue. So when you press that, <coughs> this option comes up, step one and then step two. <clears throat> on step one you're going to press export and a file will come up so we're just going to save it onto our desktop so we can find it quite easily and you're going to select a folder there it will then say exported and what we're going to do we're just going to check it on our desktop to see that it's there which it is so then what we do you have to send the email to us at Doris CCTV so the email that you're going to use is support at dorisccTV.co.uk and then we would then forward this on to the manufacturer and then the manufacturer will create a new file which they send to us and we forward back to you. Once that's all done you're going to go back onto the app. This will happen within a couple of a uh, few hours basically. So once that happens you go back onto the app again select the device press forgot password and now we move on to step two. So in step two, we're going to import file, confirm, and then, um, press where it is, press the file, open, and then you enter in your new password. You confirm the password and press confirm. Then that new password will apply. And there's two very important things to note here. When you send us a file, that file is only valid for that same day. It's not for 24 hours. It is for that day only. So today is the 13th of April 2019. The file you send us will only be valid up until the 13th of April 2019. After midnight, it no longer applies. We can't use that file to help you. So the important thing is that when you send us this file, send it to us early in the day so that we have enough time to send it back to the manufacturer, so that they still have enough time to fix that file and for us a new one that we can give to you within the same time frame.